Come on. <laughs> welcome, welcome back. I took a day off from filming yesterday and just basically slobbed around, kind of slobbed, did a little bit of work. Actually, no, I did more work than I wanted to actually. But that's just the way it goes for us. Today is Sunday, so I'm going to catch up on, I'm going to get a head start on Monday basically. I'm going to get my postage done, I'm going to pick my orders. Then hopefully we can get some more sorting out done. Did quite a lot yesterday. So we've got gaps in shelves and we have a messy countertop area. But that's okay because we're working and working is progress. The weather is just... It's not it, is it? Some of you will have a very sore head this morning because you went to the meetup in, I do believe, Scotland Way, hosted by DR Resells. I get a lot of stick for never attending meetups, but one day I'm just going to turn up and not tell anyone that weather is. I am a big fan of the rain. That weather makes me want to go and get a raincoat on and go for a walk, but I don't have a decent raincoat. Sold it on stream to Ricky for £19. Like a hat. So there's been no car boot sales, which means I can't get any car boot sale videos out to you guys because there is none. Nothing happened. Although annoyingly, I was scrolling through TikTok today. I always end up on car boot talk on Sunday mornings if I don't go to a car boot sale. Normally I'm doing it myself. TikTok links all down below. And there was some guy at eBoot streaming and it looked absolutely fine there. A bit windy but dry. I wish weather was like completely nas nationwide. <laughs> So we could all suffer together. A few vintage sales and a few eBay sales to get sorted out. So I'll pick those now and head back to you. Right, that's everything picked. We'll jump straight into Vinted first. We have sold our first pair of Dr. Martins. These are the Red Tab London Undergrounds. Made in England, vintage. They cost me £5 a pair from Car Boot Sales. Some of you remember. Some of you believe that I robbed the gentleman. I just paid what he asked. His friend on the next stall said £20 each when he wasn't even there and said, come back. So I came back and asked the actual man and he said £5 a pair, £15 a lot. It's not robbery, that's her not knowing what she's talking about and him giving his price. £5 sold for £40 all in on Vinted. I've had them all listed on eBay for longer, nothing shifted. Stick them on there, two days, gone. And the Edwin jeans from the previous video that I paid £3 for in a Bernardo's. In a Bernardo's. That's like, I can't describe to you what that's like. It's like walking into Lamborghini and getting a car for 10 grand because it's, a, it's because it's Bernardo's. Selvage denim. So if anybody who wants to know what selvage looks like, that there is a selvage seam with the red running through and it's sort of nice and shrink -fund. The average looking seam will look like this. Okay, so the average pair of jeans and then this is the selvage side. So that's the selvage denim. Paid three pound. Unfortunately, as you can see here, are you ready? There's patches in the knees, like somebody's been skidding through the dinner hall in their Edwins. <coughs> we all did it. So I listed them for £30, knowing full well I was going to get offers, and took an offer of £20. So £17 profit in a day. I'm not complaining. And now some of you, you could have got a hell of a lot more. I don't care. I don't work like that. If I haven't made it clear enough yet... The way I do reselling is, if I'm profiting, obviously I want to get seven, three pound into 17 is fantastic, happy with that. I do sometimes get two pound into four pounds because it was a bad buy that I didn't realize at the time. So I stick it on vintage for a lot lower, just get it gone. But this is how my head works. If their market value for that is 35 pound and I list them and sell them for 20 because they've gone fast and I've turned it around quickly and I've made 17 pound, I don't care. I don't care. I'm very happy with that. Very happy. And that is all that matters. Over to eBay now. We've sold another hat from the £55 bundle. This is a vintage Pirelli cap. This is sold for £10.79 all in. It works out that each hat owes me £1.25 after we did the maths. Vintage Maxis hat. It does have some marks throughout, but I've mentioned all, all of that. This is sold for £17.99. Remember, I'm owed £1.25 a hat. I think I am, if not, I am close to the break even point and i've still got lots of hats listed and lots of hats to list for 11 pound 69 now we've sold the i think it's called carte blanche they're like giraffes you've got a small giraffe and a big giraffe i paid one pounds 25 each so two pounds 50 for the pair and they've sold for 11.69 all in a train bundle now hornby lima all different types in there it is all sold as spares repairs or parts i mean i wouldn't be surprised if 100 percent of it worked to be honest, but I don't want to. Yes, I know I can easily test these out with batteries and tracks and whatever else. I don't, I'm not asked. I literally just grabbed it out of the bottom of a box, laid it all out, took a photo, sold it. 
20 pounds and a few pence all in. That is me nothing. For £12 all in now is this Corgi Land Rover. It does have a little bit of damage towards the back of the cage in here, but I have mentioned that. Hello, puddy cat. I don't have a cat, by the way, but there's a cat. You can come in. It's raining out there. It's raining. You can come in. Do you mean to make you a bed out of a jumper? Here. This is a traditional Guernsey knitwear jumper. Very, very, very expensive top. But it's got a big whacking great hole in it just there which is very annoying nala has a bed there if you want it nice little bed for her we'll see if she comes in and takes the offer it's raining out there sometimes she comes in for a little bit of um shelter why couldn't i think of that corgi truck sold for 12 pound and the sun has just came out oh my god tom has very kindly wow that lighting is great apart from the <laughs> The camera just here where are we okay i'll have to close that in a minute just until that sun goes away is it going i blinded myself now i think it's going but i don't want to stare back at it again in case it catches me again it's gone ish uh tom had previously bought a puzzle off me a peacock puzzle 1000 piece but every had lost it and it happens we don't mind about that i've refunded him and he said thank you so much massively appreciate it he's decided to upgrade his mug now to simba lion king mug tom purchased this for nine pounds all in i think i paid one pound from a bundle of stuff thank you tom i massively appreciate it sorry you didn't get the puzzle that probably would have been a cool one to do but these things happen don't they thank you again tom fucking sun's coming back we just move it basically the sun i'll show you look if you can see it from the camera it glares right off my windscreen into my into my face basically i've now got i've now got sunspots in my face lighting's not as good now but it is what it is only a few more things to go i literally can't see i've got you know them bright lights that you get in your eyes when you stare at the sun juggernaut action figure now this is actually worth a lot more than what i sold it for but i sold it for 11 pound because even though it's worth more and solds are going for that much i actually couldn't sell this it was not shifting so actually no it wasn't worth more ignore what i said that's a stupid thing to say but solds and history on this was a hell of a lot more especially for slightly different variants but that's probably because it's a different variant shut up ricky go back to barbering the jelly cat fox that I picked up from the same day I went to Bernardo's for the Edwin and stuff. Paid £2 for this one. This has sold for £10 and a few pence all in. The few pence being 94p. £10 and 94p. Oh, hold on a minute. See, I knew one of them was sold to somebody, but I've just realised they've bought both of them. So the other one has sold for £14.94. pence. This was £3.50 I paid. So I paid £5.50 for the pair. And these have both been picked up by Emma Webster. So Emma, I massively appreciate your purchase. You did reach out to me on Instagram and say you've just started watching the channel and that you've picked up these the donkey. But I didn't realise you'd picked up the fox as well. I really do appreciate it. These will be on their way to you very, very shortly. Emma, thank you so much. I've also noticed, it looks like you're using your husband's account. I hope he knows. And that's the rundown of the sales, but don't go anywhere because we aren't finished yet. There are going to be a few more bits and pieces that I'm going to get into the video. But also, we are going to be drawing the winner for that reseller shoe tree ruler toolkit box thing that I did the competition for in a previous video. And we're also going to be doing a couple more reselling YouTube channel shout outs. So stay tuned for that. And that is the last bit of postage done. Watching a bit of Project Games. First of all, big shout out to Dreams Reselling. I actually bought these off of his Instagram. He picked them up quickly, not knowing they were fake. And I was like, bro, I will take them. Hopefully they fit me. Unfortunately, they don't. But it does mean that I do have to now go and get a pair of these because I put them on and they were squeezed my toe. But I liked them. I liked them. I did. I liked them. So big up, mate. I really appreciate it. I'm not going to use your real name because I don't even know if you, I don't even think that you actually use your real name on Instagram. You just go by Dream Reselling. So I'll keep it as that regardless. But massively appreciate it anyway. Unfortunately, they're a bit too small. And Emma ain't going to wear them. Annoying. I have two more parcels that I need to open. I've been waiting patiently for these. So do you remember a little while ago, I had a letter come through from Royal Mail saying you haven't paid enough postage? 
It was only Buddy Carl, weren't it? King Parker Monkey. He's been doing these really cool like artwork pieces and I saw it. He just shared it on his Instagram. He wasn't saying anybody, he wasn't saying they were for sale or anything like that. He's just making them and he's firing them. You know, putting them up in places. And I thought that was really cool. So I said, where can I buy one? And he said, they're not for sale, but I'll send you one. I was like, no problem. Obviously he didn't use enough postage. So I ended up paying for them anyway. Just, you didn't profit. I don't care about that. Right, let's have a look. See where we are. Oh, there's a note as well. Wow, look at the way I've opened this. Please look at me. What am I doing? Right, that's it. Hi, Ricky. I'm going to read this out and hopefully, once I finish reading it, if it's okay, I'll leave it in. Hi, Ricky. Trust all's well. Stickers are in the Pokemon card box. One MF Coup. Oh, by the way, they're called MF Coup. He's got the MF Doom. Do you know who MF Doom is? Uh, I think you probably need to know to know, but research MF Doom and then you'll understand MF Coup. One MF Coup, and I put some spare Obey stickers in I got from my recent trip to Dam. Anyway, I'm off out shortly to post this and to do some more paste-ups. Yeah, boy, get them out there. All the best, Carl, a.k.a. King Parker Monkey, a.k.a. MF Coup, a.k.a. Daddy Saurus. Kid's nickname for you. I massively appreciate that, Daddy Saurus. <laughs> I'm going to call you that now. Let's have a look at these stickers. They're so cool, man. So first of all, we'll just show you the Obey stickers. Obey are very Andre the Giant. Obey are obviously cool as hell, but um, not as cool as this. Yeah, look at that MF Coup. That is so dope. If you know MF Doom, you'll understand. If you don't, then it's just a pigeon with a mask on. Carl, massively appreciate that, mate. If you haven't already, go check him out. King Parker Monkey on Instagram. Another one that's been with me from what I would consider as day one, but one of the people that have just been there and always been there since I started this journey on YouTube and Instagram. So massively appreciate that, mate. Fucking pay your postage. I'm gonna find somewhere cool to put that. And I went on Sully's whatnot stream the other day and I was like, I was that annoying person. You know that annoying bloke that says, have you got any, or can you send me, or have you got any? That was me. I popped in, somebody tagged me into the stream because she was wearing some cool hats, I think. I think it was the hats. Can't remember. I popped in and I was like, have you got any uh, extra large graphic tees? And she went, yeah, yeah, I have. I was like, woohoo! And she pulled out this absolute. Oh, bless her. She says, thanks, Ricky. Can't believe you bought off me. I've watched your YouTube for years. Jess. Jess, massively appreciate it. If you are on whatnot and you want to go and buy some cool stuff, Jess has like cool hats, cool t-shirts, men's, women's, ladies, all in between. She's Sully's sells a lot on whatnot. But look at this t-shirt. You ready? Boom. Look at that. But ready for the back print. Oh, dear. Trust me, these are coming one day. And when they do finally arrive, when they start coming after your brains, I'm going to wear this t-shirt and I'm going to say, look, I was a fan from day one. Leave me be, back off. Jess, massively appreciate it. I love the t-shirt and I might, I might even slip it on now. But if I do, I better make sure that I go off camera first. I've had a few comments on my car boot video when I was, basically, I did a car boot video where I thought somebody said, I watch your channel, but they said, watch your channel. But while I was editing, it was hot. I was in my garage, I had my top off. Nobody, nobody, I didn't expect to be on camera, but I did, I ended up going on camera and I put a few little shots on of me with my top off, but it cut out like here. Yeah, I'll watch your video. Thank you, mate, I appreciate it. And people saying, put some clothes on. Why do you need to do that for? And you inserting those clips, can't watch anymore. I'm out of here. Do you think I'm going to change the way I do my YouTube just for you? I don't think so. It's a dad bod. Grow the fuck up. I wasn't swinging my sausage around, was I? <laughs> fuck yes. It's a dream. I love it. And it's very soft. I get so excited about clothing. You know I do. You know what I do. Do 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 do. Jess, I love that so much. I think I just bit my lip while I was getting excited. Thanks, Gil. I think that's all the social media admin done. The pickup, the things I've bought, the things I've been sent. Oh, I paid. This cost me like nine pound from Sully's. I paid ten pound for the fake Crocs. I paid one pounds fifty for the free stickers. <laughs> oh, and also my man. 
the Adidas has arrived with the free, he sent me a free parcel, uh, small Ikea bag, coin bag thing, when in actual fact, I picked one up from the car boot sale like a day before that, but he said, enjoy the Adidas top and the spare mini Ikea bag for your booty trips. Thanks for your help and thanks in advance from the tr for the trousers. All the best, John Shed XL. John, massively appreciate that, mate. I've had this for about a week now. I just forgot to bring it into the house to do a video on it. I haven't tried it on yet. I haven't, I haven't tried it on yet, no idea. But I am gonna say that it is actually fake. He got this and thought he thinks it's fake. And I said, without looking at it properly, I can't tell, bro, I need to see it. And now I've seen it in the flesh. Because part of me thought it might just be a vintage Adidas. But that's a classic Turkey logo. It's probably 813 Turkish Lira. Adidas.com. Tag is just horrible. All this stitching in here just wouldn't ever happen. The Adidas trefoil zip looks like somebody's made a boat out of cabbage. But that is really good. That is really good. There's no sizes on it though. So it's got the country, but it's got no sizes on it. That's a good label, that is. But other than that, the top is fake. It is now time to give some shout outs to what I believe are underappreciated YouTube reselling channels. So the first channel that I want to highlight is, of course, Lucy's Car Boot Loot. She goes by the same name on YouTube and on TikTok and on Instagram. She has been one of my most loyalist supporters, subscribers, whatever you want to call it, since day one i do believe in fact she might even be the first no she's the second person to have ever approached me and been like i know you watched your youtube and i can tell you now four years ago when that first started happening was wild and weird but lucy and her mum were really nice really polite and really kind and made me realize that all these interactions are not going to be i've left my internet ah! left my notifications on but i've sold something wireless network adapter Lucy and her mum made me feel very comfortable. She's always been my biggest support. Out of every single one, out of 11,600 or 700 of you, Lucy is my biggest, biggest supporter. She reshares all my stuff. She reposts my stuff. She's always in the community. She has my back. So Lucy, and I've got hers as well. She needed a logo making. I made her a logo and just sent it to her. A few different things. Wherever I can, I will help. Lucy, I want to say a massive, massive thank you to all that you've ever done for me and my channel. I really appreciate you and all of her socials are down below. Please go check her out. To give you a synopsis of Lucy's channel, a lot of her stuff is raw and unedited. You see the good, the bad, the ugly. Some of her videos are quite long, so if you want to do some packing and have something in the background, she sometimes puts out some good hour, sometimes two hour long videos. So go check her out. Lucy, thank you so much again, and say hello to your mum. I appreciate you both. Now, one that I've been letting fester for a little while and sort of pushing in other directions and helping him with his channel a little bit and not exactly mentoring him, but giving him some tips and tricks and advice and just basically giving him a kick up the ass and some motivation to put more content out there so that when I do come to mention his channel, you've got a nice back catalogue to go and watch. And that is, of course, is Matt from Project Games. Matt, off can love you, man. Matt has also been probably... In fact, Matt's probably level with Lucy. Damn, I don't know who actually wins that trophy now. Hmm, I'm so quick to forget. So rude of me. But Matt sent me a hat in the winter saying hashtag funny. This was like three years ago. I've still got that somewhere. Don't know where it is now, though. Probably upstairs in my reseller keepsake cupboard. Yes, I've got one. I've got little notes and bits and pieces from all other resellers. Um, he sent me a get well soon box when I was feeling poorly. It had socks in it, mints, hot chocolate. Oh man, Matt, love that. Still got those socks and I love them socks. But Matt is a hard, hard worker. He's got like, I believe, I don't want to say this wrong, I think he's got about 8,000 listings on eBay. Yes, he is a card TCG and like gaming seller, those kinds of things, mainly cards, but he'll sell small stuff. And you'll say, well, it's easy to get 8,000 listings on cards. You've still got to do the same process as you have with big stuff. You've got to take all the photos, do all the research, fill in all the information and list it. It still takes the same amount of time. Oh, well, that's a bit of a stretch because you can probably do 10 cards. You can just get a card and grab it from there, but you haven't got to keep moving stuff and dusting stuff down and whatever else. But he's a grafter and he's putting out all these videos and he's putting out all this work. And I really appreciate what he's doing in the community as well. He's full of banter. He knows how to have a laugh. He's Welsh. What can I say? Those guys are made up in the tough stuff. They're not soft. So Matt, at the moment, I've just realised it's actually going to have to be a to the death battle between you and Lucy for who is my number one supporter. So uh, I'll sort that out. I'll get the event booked and some tickets and we'll get that sorted out. I've got a funny feeling Lucy's going to bash your brains in. But I massively appreciate the pair of these two. So go and check them both out if you would like to. Of course, you're not obliged. I just think they are worth a subscribe and worth a watch. Right, let's go draw the winner to this reseller toolbox thing. Shoe trees and stuff.
Okay, so we need to go to this video just here. We copy the title, go back into comment picker, paste the video, fetch, anything goes. No, we want keyword filter, and the keyword filter is missing. I ask you to type something with the words missing in. One, no, that's 76. 76 comments for the Shoe Tree Bundle. And the winner for that is Stephanie Lush. I'm missing my leg. So I was thinking of starting my own channel called The Legless Reseller. What do you think? Well, first of all, sorry to hear that you have no legs. Sounds like you still have a great personality and sense of humour. <laughs> but uh, yeah, do The Legless Reseller. However... You've now got some shoe trees. So I hope you've got some shoes to... Stephanie, come on. Come on. There you go, Stephanie. You are today's winner. And I genuinely believe that you have no legs. So legless reseller might work. What else could you do? Depends how far the amputation is. If it's from the knee down, you could be like knee down. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But start a channel. If you want to start a channel, get one going. Stephanie, massively appreciate it. All my contact links are down below, email and Instagram and TikTok as well. But you're better off to message me on email or Instagram. I don't tend to look at TikTok messages. I just don't. Thank you so much, everybody, for joining me on today's video. I really appreciate your time and I will see you on the next one. It is Monday tomorrow and we've got a big day ahead of us. Thank you so much. Bye.